We are Shimizu Group in the Department of Applied Physics and Physical Informatics, Faculty of Science and Technology, Keio University. Our group focuses on studies of structures and properties that are unique to material surfaces and interfaces. We investigate various types of materials, such as metals, oxides, organic thin films, and adsorbed molecules. We look at material surfaces at the atomic scale and characterize their structures and electronic properties. We can see how molecules adsorb and react on surfaces. Interface is the boundary between two different phases. Surface is one type of interface and it is the boundary between solid and vacuum. Shimizu Group deals with these surfaces and interfaces at a nanoscale, that is, one over one billionth of a meter. Surfaces and interfaces show a huge difference from the material internal bulk. They are much more complex than the bulk, so if you want to fabricate something on top of other material, or when you want to make reactions between two materials, it is very important to know structures and related properties at the surfaces. Yeah, it's really interesting. Two-dimensional surfaces and interfaces are so unique, and it's very different from 3D bulk, where atoms are periodically arranged forever. Surfaces show different structures, different electronic states, and you know that reactions always happen at surfaces and interfaces. The place confined to two dimensions is really attractive research target. Here's the microscope, called scanning probe microscope, used to study surfaces and interfaces. With this instrument called scanning probe microscope, we can spatially resolve how atoms are aligned and where molecules are adsorbed. We really see single atoms and molecules. Professor Shimizu told us that she was really surprised at the small world that she looked at with these microscopes. A single water molecule, H2O, really dissociates into OH and H. I was a grad student when I first saw it and I was really shocked. I thought I want to see various kinds of materials. That's why I'm in this field. With this scanning tunneling microscope, a very thin and sharp metallic tip is installed in the microscope and bring it to the material surface that you want to investigate until the distance becomes as close as one nanometer or less. Then the current flows due to the quantum tunneling effect. By measuring this current, you'll get information on the material surface. Shimizu Group uses this microscope to study gas adsorption behavior on oxide surfaces to gain better understanding of catalytic reaction mechanisms. Shimizu Group is also interested in other types of materials. Not only materials that exist in nature, but they also observe materials that are synthesized and artificially created. For example, they characterize structures of individual nanoparticles and their aggregation. Unique structures and electronic properties of self-assembled molecular networks that are formed by controlling the intermolecular and substrate molecule interactions. They also study to clarify the formation mechanism of thin films that are fabricated using phenomena unique to the two-dimensional surfaces and interfaces. Why this becomes like this? How can this phenomenon be explained? To answer these simple and fundamental questions, I'm doing science. I hope that students also learn this process interesting. Think by yourself, use your own hands, talk with your colleagues, make full use of research facility here, and enjoy your research life. <laughs>